Effectively working with and manipulating strings is an important skill for any JavaScript programmer. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how we can work with each character of a string by converting it to an array. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. Now I've done several tutorials on working with strings. Also on converting array-like objects to arrays, and I've done a tutorial on the spread operator. In this tutorial, several of these concepts are going to be brought together. Now, if you'd like to review those previous tutorials, I'll include links in the description. So here's what we're going to do. We will take a string and look at how we can convert it to an array. Once it is an array, there are a number of things we can do with it. For this particular tutorial, the example we're going to use is we're going to reverse the array. Or by so doing that, we will reverse the string. And we'll do that without a loop. So it seems that since this is our goal, perhaps the type of string we should be working with is a palindrome. Palindrome is basically a string that reads the same forwards or backwards. So if I jump to Sublime, here I have a string set up that is a palindrome. If you look at it, never, odd, or even, we can read it from the left or from the right. Never, odd, or even. So that's a palindrome. We're going to convert this to an array, and then we will reverse it and convert it back to a string. So that's what we're going to do. Now, first off, how can we convert this to an array? Well, for any array-like object in JavaScript, there are a couple of ways to convert them to arrays. Now, what is an array-like object? Well, basically, it is something that has a length property. And if you think about it, a string has a length property. So since it has a length property, it is an array-like object, we can convert it to an array. Now that can be done with array.from. That's a new static method. Well, fairly new, it's not, not super new. Uh, came out with ES6, but that is a static method that's attached to arrays that can be used to convert an array-like object. But my favorite way to do it is with the spread operator. I really like the spread operator. So let's take a look at that really quick. First off, I'm going to set up a function that will be used to do what we're trying to do here. And that is reverse a string. So this function will allow it to pass in a string. And then basically what it will do is return the string, but the string will be reversed. Now to start off with, Let's return just the string as an array so we can take a look at that. So here's how I want to do that. I want to specify an array, and then inside of that I put the string. But in order to make that string an array, I use the spread operator, which are three periods or three dots. The spread operator will break that array-like object apart. Okay, now with that much done, let's just see what we get. So let me log to the console, the results of calling that function with our string palindrome. So let me save that and let's jump out here, open the console and then we'll refresh. And there we get our array. As you can see, each letter is an element in the array, even the spaces, uh, we also have some punctuation in the period there. So that becomes an element in the array as well. So everything in the string basically becomes an element in the array. So we have an array of 18 elements. That's what we end up with. So once you've seen that, the rest is probably pretty easy, right? Let me jump back. Once we have an array, we can simply use the reverse method. 
Now you may or may not know, but that causes an array to be reversed. So let me just quickly take a look at that. I'll refresh, open the console. Now you can see that the period is at the start. It's in position zero. And as you can see, the capital N is here at the end. So that reversed the array. Once the array is reversed, then we simply put it back into a string. And we can do that with the join method. And notice that we're able to just chain these methods together because they are all a part of the array prototype. So we can chain those together. All right, let's see if we get our palindrome reversed. So I'm going to save that, come back out here. Let's refresh, and there we have it. The palindrome is reversed. And because of the punctuation I added and the uppercase, you can tell that it is reversed. Never, odd, or even. Now, I mentioned another way this can be done without the spread operator is using array.from. So let me show that really quick. Let me just remove the spread operator and the brackets. Array.from is a static method of arrays. So we use it like this. The word array in uppercase, then dot from, and then we pass in the string. And that will accomplish the same thing. So let me save that, refresh, and there we go. We have the exact same thing. So that is how you can convert a string to an array. And then once it's in an array, you can do a number of different things with it. And as you can see, we reversed it and then put it back together in a string. Now, before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others on YouTube find this tutorial. Also hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for full courses and a complete list of tutorials. Thanks for watching.